it's not about them, it's about what you do. Last night's FB post. My higher self. But does it show respect? Me, oh, okay. I'll remove the comment. I thought it was funny. Showing respect for everything doesn't say that you are always respectful, but it shows respect for what others are doing. It passes on positive energy. I'm not always respectful. I have a sense of humor that I'd rather not have at times. But I can show respect and honor the work of everyone if I can keep that sucker in line. Today's joke about the royals. Ah, she's still at it. You say they don't deserve respect, but don't you deserve to give it? Think about it. Athena. Sigrid, those girls up there. They're saying to take a pass on disrespectful jokes, even if they're funny and even if they pertain to the deep state. It's about you and the way you conduct yourself, not the way others conduct themselves. These guys are being dealt with. I admit, a lot of people like to chuck shit at them. I enjoy these jokes at times too. Elevate the sense of humor beyond chucking stuff jokes. I guess I'll find out what is beyond it when I get there, when I refuse to do it. Showing everyone respect, well everyone deserves respect for even being here on this planet, let's face it, but secondly, showing everyone respect is about you and keeping your vibration up. Me, Sigrid, aren't there worse things about me than my sense of humor? Sigrid, no. Me, really. Sigrid, you, like many people, hide many things behind humor. Me, true. I do. Sometimes it's easier to laugh it off than it is to face it. Sigrid, I rest my case. Me, she's as bad as Ivo. LOL. Ivo, did I hear my name used in vain? Me, LOL okay, Sigrid and Ivo, let's go into this. The joke was about the royals being reptilians. What is there for me to learn about myself when I face that fact and stop joking about it? Sigrid, what isn't there for you to learn? Me, are you just being difficult? Sigrid, I am getting you to open your mind. When you dismiss that the royals are reptilians in a joke. Me, yes, but I know that already. Sigrid, when you dismiss that, you may not open paths to learning many more things. You feel you know it all because the royals are reptilians, so you know it all. Me, oh, I see. Sigrid, it is about remaining open. When the subject of reptilians comes up, there is much to learn about them and a moment's focus can bring in more information than you can possibly read in a book. Me, I have a book on them too, about their agenda. Sigrid, I rest my case again. Me, ah, we're in court. LOL. Sigrid, again, cutting me off at the pass. Be open, Sharon. What can you learn about reptilians? Do you know everything? Me, no, of course not. Sigrid, so be open, stop laughing at the subjects. This is a lesson for many of you as well, because you say, I don't have time for this, laugh and move on. This is why the deep state keeps you so busy, so you cannot learn anything new. We can tell you a lot in just a few seconds. You call it a knowing or a download of intuitive information. It does not take long for us to do this, it is if your minds are not so busy that you can be open. Oftentimes when you worked, you would go on autopilot and move into your higher mind. That is why you sensed us standing behind you at your job. You kept looking over your left shoulder, expecting someone to be there, and there was nobody that you could see. But you were connecting more readily with us because of the silence. Me, yes. Whenever that place was quiet. It was noisy all the time. Sigrid, and your wise crack is that making money there makes a lot of noise. Again, could you not be more respectful? Me, I don't like corporate environments. Sigrid, however, could you stop making wise cracks about their greed and the noise they make being greedy, because this is what you are saying. Me, okay. Sigrid, I'll remind you, 
sending others ill will nets you the same. You will experience the same poison as you send out to others. Me, what if I don't respect what they're doing? I have that problem a lot on this planet. Ivo, it is about acceptance, my dear. Accept that they choose to live that way and respect their choices. Me, even when I don't agree with them. Ivo, yes. Everyone plays a part to create a functioning world. You have your part. Me, are you kidding? I'm here to change it. Ivo, that is your part, then. To change it and make things better so people do not suffer anymore. But that is no reason to diss the people who are keeping the wheels rolling now. You would have a harder time constructing a world from non-existence than you would changing the current system, which is functional to some degree now. Me, true. Sigrid, many of you continue to look at the parts and see them as faulty, it is a question of looking at the whole and understanding God within it. God is changing your world and it is by changing all the individual parts on it. Ivo, the other point we are making is that you are lowering your frequency by making these wise cracks. Do not make them. Yes, you are sarcastic. Me, who? Me. Ivo, yes, you see that we are speaking to you and you are deterring feeling some of your feelings by creating jokes. This is a defense mechanism you have. You deflect much of what you could learn in life or understand about yourself by joking. Me, who? Me. Ivo, my dear. Me, I'm not your love anymore? LOL. Ivo, you are simply coming up with examples of what we are speaking about. You see yourself as a pesky mosquito buzzing around our ears, but you do not upset us. Me, true. You guys have put up with me all my life. Ivo, and that is another defense mechanism, self put downs. Stop doing this. You have been on a steep learning curve all your life, you have changed much for the collective on earth, you are still undertaking jobs that set off your anxiety and your fight slash flight response, but you are still doing them. So your bravery is beyond comprehension. Me, yes, I came here. Ivo, another sarcastic put down. Do you see your defense mechanisms? They keep you from being respectful and accepting your environment. Me, interesting. Ivo, oh, now we have your attention. Me, lol I'm looking to see how I can profit from this, emotionally of course. Ivo, you will hold a higher vibrational frequency. It is not about being respectful, but it is about showing respect for others one thought at a time. Me, why wouldn't I respect myself? Ivo, in being respectful, you would be respecting yourself. When you are respectful of others often enough, you will respect yourself. When you are sarcastic and utilize put-downs, you will see yourself as queen of the cheap shot, and you will lack respect for yourself. Life is a mirror. Respect others, respect yourself. Even if they do things you do not agree with, or you may harbor resentments about. Find something to respect all others for. Anything. It will open the floodgates and you will understand. Me, I think that's going to be tough considering some of the things the DS has done. Ivo, do not start with them, then. As for the DS, they can be respected for something as superficial as their impeccable dress, if that is all you can find. Perhaps their technology as well, or the fact that they understand you so well. You in fact, have commented on how intelligent their cunningly manipulative tactics are. Me, what can you find about them, Ivo? Ivo, they have provided the catalyst for change upon this world, they have provided the opportunity for learning about the self to the extent that souls flock to your planet to be incarnated upon it. And they still are. They created events that have set the stage for personal growth and ascension that has skyrocketed so many souls to higher dimensions and eventual reunification with the One. And they have done this, knowing ultimately they would suffer their own demise. We see them as beings of supreme sacrifice. This is their nature. They have sacrificed so many human lives but ultimately their own will be given. Me, 
Hey, Ivo, what's this? Rub index finger against your thumb on your shoulder, world's smallest violin. Ivo, I realize you do not see it this way because you are embroiled in it. You have no compassion for them, but fortunately you have a lot for the people they have victimized. And you have lost your cousin to covet and have split with your sister over belief in them or not, so for you now it is personal. As Sigrid says, it is not about what others deserve, it is about what you deserve to vibrate at. Your entire viewpoint on life will change when you employ gratitude, respect of others, and this is the old definition that does not mean intimidation of others, love for others, even if they drive you crazy like your superintendent, you have noticed he is in a good mood when it comes to collecting the rent, so you can appreciate him for that. He has money problems, so when he collects your rent, he is being paid. Me, no wonder he has money problems. Ivo, we will say this is a barely passing remark. There is not much sarcasm intended. You appreciate the fact that your rent is low enough to afford your own apartment, but you understand that if that is his month's wages, then he would have money problems. That remark barely passes muster. Me, oh oh. I'm in trouble. LOL. Ivo, we are showing you that you can do better. Me, I'm being raked over the coals here. Ivo, we would like you to vibrate higher. Then your fight slash flight response will not kick in quite as easily as it does, and you will have less shock to live with. Me, you're trying to help me. Ivo, we are. As I was saying, when you employ gratitude, when you find anything to appreciate about another person even if you cannot stand them, just one little thing, when you respect others for doing the jobs you cannot do. Me, accountants. Although I learned some things from them. Ivo, for example. When you respect others for doing the jobs you do not want to do, like road construction for example, you can appreciate them for that. When you appreciate the plumbers who will come in and fix your toilets. When you appreciate the vets who will administer health care to your pets. Me, mine's fast too. I like him. Ivo, when you appreciate the sun for shining its glory upon you, when you appreciate the rain for watering the food that you eat, when you look for the things you will like about another person instead of the things that you do not like about them. When you look to see universal law or God working in your life. You had a near miss but it was a miss, your car was not hit. You see a bed of beautiful flowers. You see a glaze of fall colors. The bright blue sky such as today's sky. Then you look at yourself, what can you appreciate about yourself right now? Name 10 things. Many of you will have trouble doing this because you are busy not appreciating yourselves. Me, I care. Ivo, that drives many of the things you do. From feeding your cat to watering your plants, to putting out videos on YouTube. You care. When your outlook is low frequency, your fight or flight response is primed, waiting to go to mess up your day. When your outlook is higher and that is a question of habit, simply practicing it, your fight or flight response will be put out of business. Gratitude or appreciation. Charity. Kindness. Compassion. Temperance, humanitarian values. Discipline, creating good habits, this starts one step at a time. Get into the practice of being grateful, find anything to be grateful about in everything you experience. Keep trying. Note persistence, below in the list. Forgiveness. Patience. Reverence. And above all, persistence. Persistently work on achieving a mindset with these virtues and your life will change. We will discuss these things in upcoming videos. I have worked through many lifetimes to school myself in these values, and I have succeeded. You all have done so to varying degrees, and you bring this knowledge with you from the stars. The fact that you behave in any way otherwise now is that you are behaving in matrix ways, not the ways of your soul. Practice the ways of your soul daily and your connection will be much easier. I promise you. And stop avoiding your emotions. Me, thank you Ivo. Ivo, my love, 
you do have patience. In the galaxy you are an adjudicator for warring races. You are experienced at putting up with any kind of imbalanced justification and cockeyed reasoning there is, yet you sit through it patiently and work with the parties involved until there is a peaceful resolution. Me, lol so what happened? Ivo, the matrix happened. Now you must practice exercising your mind to re-embrace these virtues. You are doing well in many of them, but more understanding of your defense mechanisms must be made. Me, thanks, Ivo. Ivo, you are most welcome, my love. Homework, ask yourself, what's stopping me from being grateful? What's stopping me from being charitable? What's stopping me from being patient? The answer is always you are, but look at ways you defend yourself out of fear rather than allowing the higher frequency to connect with your current situation and to heal it. If anyone wants any clarification on these states there's a book out by Thurman Fleet called Rays of the Dawn and it explains these natural laws of the body, mind, and soul in more detail. Open Library has it but to purchase a copy is going to set you back a bit because it's a classic.